So boys, the, the derby, good game, we agree, but where does it leave both teams, do you think? Still leaves Newcastle United in a big, big mess, a big hole that they're going to struggle to climb out of. So uh, if you look at the fixture list, that was the, you know, as you say, it was a, it was a great game, probably great for a neutral, like, but for myself, sitting on the edge of the seat and having Mickey Horswell behind us, screaming every Sunderland uh, decision all the way through, it was a, it was a pretty difficult day and I, I did feel the worst at one point when Sunderland were on top, but... I don't think Sunderland are out of the woods yet either, but I, th- I think, for, to be fair, I don't really care about Sunderland, to be honest. But from Newcastle United's point of view, I think uh, it was a wasted opportunity because of the games that are coming up. It's another must win game they haven't won, effectively, yeah. isn't it? They keep saying that. They've, they've drawn five of their 12 Premier League home games now, and that's that's too many. If they'd have won two, two of them, they're four points better off. Yeah. Um, and they're not, and you know, we keep saying that they've got to start winning these games eventually, and they keep getting these home games, keep drawing them, and they're, they're not, they don't really look capable of winning. So, in some respect, I mean, it's, it was a much better performance. So, if you're looking at it like that, that's, that's a positive to take out of it. For the second half, they played really well, looked the better team, but they haven't won the game, and you just start to worry that how many more chances they're going to waste. Yeah, I guess, you know, looking at it, glass half, half full. Mm perspective it could have been worse I mean Sunderland on the break albeit went very close late on I was a bit disappointed with Sunderland actually to be perfectly honest I thought they played well first 20 minutes I thought they'd actually they were on top then and they'd actually when, even when they scored they'd kind of started to lose their way a little bit and I just thought they had they had their foot on Newcastle's throat and, and didn't really hammer it home and I was, although they played on the break second half if you look at the possession and yeah. territory they conceded they were um, you know Newcastle certainly had the initiative and um I think Sunderland. I don't think Sunderland are out of the woods by any means. I mean, no. they're, they're not going to have a better chance to go to St James's Park and win with all the trouble. No, Newcastle a massive, have. massive opportunity yeah. from their perspective. I thought they lacked belief, really. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. having, as you say, had the better of the first 25, 30 minutes, got the goal, and then just sat back. Uh, like Sam Allardyce nice too, isn't he? Ricky Sprager by the looks of things. You go one nil up and then just defend into yeah, the bank. Yeah, I mean, as soon, literally as soon as the first, the second half started, yeah. you could just see it was a case of let's try and hold on mm-hmm. to what we've got. I mean, you're inviting teams onto you. It doesn't matter whether at the bottom or at the top. Mm-hmm. You know, you're probably going to be made to suffer, and, and that's what happened. Um, personally, you know, I think obviously some have got that very slight cushion. It is just a slight cushion. Um, I think C. and Jones, if they stay fit, will probably see them okay. Yes. Um, still be a bit dicey. Newcastle, just an absolutely monumental game on Saturday Lee now at West Brom. It's absolutely huge. I mean, and at the minute, Newcastle probably second favourites going in that game because. You know what it's like down at West Brom, the, the home crowd behind them. Um, mm. That's that's probably going to be a, the, the key factor. You know, you, you never want to see Newcastle are going to get beat, but if they do get beat, you know the the close proximity of the, the, of the bottom of that table. It's, I've never known anything like it to be mm. honest. I mean, normally there's one team that is, is down and out by this stage, but there's, you can't put your finger on one team that's going to do it. But if you look at Newcastle's forms, still haven't won. In, yeah. This is this year finished bottom of the calendar year of 2008. Mm. There is a team that are hurtling towards disaster, and you know we can dress it up whatever we want. But the fans were probably just relieved more than anything to come out of the stadium yesterday and get a point. But the way I look at it is that the fact that they are pleased to get a point now is it shows how the standards have tumbled down so yeah. quickly in in such a short space of time, and it's a serious situation now, and it's it's becoming an emergency. We're speaking before the end of the transfer deadline, so we're kind of you know on, on transfer alert today. I mean, so much is going to depend on what happens in the next sort of five, five, six hours, isn't it? From in terms of the squad, um, but you d- you do worry because it's just all these chances keep slipping past, and you know they've got to go to West Brom really and win. Yeah. Certainly yeah. get a draw. If you lose at West Brom, then you start to think, well, this is relegation oh, yeah. basically, I mean, isn't it? It could be bottom two, you know. Yeah. It could be bottom. I mean. The I think the, the biggest problem, the biggest worry for me is the lack of creativity, certainly away from home. I mm-hmm. think they're always going to create the odd chance here and there at home because of the, sh- sh- the sheer weight of possession that they have and the crowd willing them on. But I think, you know, it remains to be seen what they do today. I mean, you'd obviously like to see them bring in a striker because he's just so short in that area mm-hmm. because of injuries. If they don't bring anyone in, you know, it's a case of trying to rush people like over Martins back and, mm-hmm. um, you know, that, that could do damage in itself. Yeah, well, I mean, it was there for all to see. I mean, Andy Carroll, you know, he's got a lot going for him, mm. but he's, he's still very raw. He mm-hmm. needs support. He needs support, and I don't think he got it with Amiobi. I mean, I know Amiobi scored the penalty, and, you know, he's been hailed the hero in the end, but take away the penalty, and for yeah. me, though, he, he, he looked off the pace. Mm. He's he, not fit, he, is he? He missed that a howler of a chance in the first half where I think, you know, he hit the fans in level seven yeah. with that one. 
and uh, he didn't really bring much of the game. Fair play for stepping up and taking the penalty. But you know, if Newcastle United are get out of this mess, then they're going to need someone a bit more uh, of a predator. Yeah. And if anything, and that's going to knock people all the way to score. What worries me is what happens if Jonas gets injured. I mean, you look at the creativity in the team. No. When Newcastle creates something, nine times out of the ten, it's it's through him. I yeah. mean, if he gets injured, where, who on earth is going to provide yeah. a ball? Even if Michael Owen's fit again or over Myers, who's going to provide a ball mm. for him? It's who's going to beat anyone? Part of the reason, I guess, why Kenny is, is looking at bringing a, a box to box, yeah, a slightly more creative midfield. I mean, he's he's finding there. In terms of you know fighting and scrapping, you've got you know Nicky Button and, and Kevin Nolan, but you need some sort of creativity, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. especially you know um, the running that they've got. It's going to be extremely tough. Um, looking ahead to, to Saturday, I mean, how do you see things at West Brom? I mean, I personally would, would again, from Newcastle United's part, be relieved with a point, even though in the great scheme of things, it probably or might not be. Well, every point's a step in the right direction. I get that's the way to look at it. I mean, they keep collecting points. In theory, they'll be all right, but I mean, they've got to start winning games, and mm-hmm. I think it'd be a real statement if they went down to West Brom yeah. and won. Did and something like they did at Portsmouth. Yeah. yeah, went down there, win the game, and then suddenly that's three points off a relegation rival. You, you, you're instantly pushing them further mm-hmm. into trouble, and you're getting out. And I just think confidence. They just need a win from somewhere to get that belief. Because I think, as you say, it was nervous against Sunderland, wasn't it? it was even though even when they were on top, you could tell there wasn't really yeah. that self belief there. Um, I think they need to win it. Um, will they win it? I'm probably with Lee. I think probably a one-one draw. It's going to be a struggle, but. You'd probably take a point, thank you mm-hmm. very much, if you mm-hmm. can hop at that now. Sign of the times. 